Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Jay Gonzalez. On today's episode, we're going to be discussing hobosexuals. That's right, folks. Have you dated one? Are you with one now? What the heck is it? You know what time it is, folks. Let's get controversial. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And let's go ahead and get it started, folks. And this topic is coming from Lily from Hobart, Indiana. And she writes in, she says, what is going on? With modern men, most of them either have a roommate, live with their mom, or couch surf. The last three men I've been with have had issues and wanted to stay with me. And now I let one move in since things got serious. Things have been good, but he still isn't working and it's getting sickening. I'm tired of providing for this man. Hmm. Well, first off, Lily, I do appreciate you submitting the topic today. And uh, to the show, and let's go ahead and get into it. See, the thing is, you're dealing with a hobosexual, okay? Those type of men are usually somatic narcissists. They use their sexuality to reel victims in. Those type of men are usually very nice-looking men. At times can be very well-mannered and well-dressed, okay? So they use that their looks to their advantage to lure the woman, okay? Those type of men usually bask in their femininity, okay? Therefore, at times, you might see them cooking, cleaning, doing laundry, etc. things that, you know, someone, a woman in her feminine would do. Usually, those type of men are sought out after by masculine women because you got to have the balance, Okay? And usually, the the women, even if they're masculine, they end up seeing that, no, this is not, a man is not, it's not in his nature for him to stay home. It's not in his nature for him to not want to work or provide. Those type of men are usually raised by a single mom, okay? Without, that lack the man, for the father figure in their life. The man, the, the positive role model that can show them, that can teach them how, to take care of themselves and how to be a provider, how to be a man in essence, okay? Those type of men usually scout out for good-hearted women. And at times, women with children. They look for them because they know, okay, she has kids. Definitely the fridge is going to be filled with food. Definitely she's a nurturer. She loves to clean. She needs to clean house, etc. They scout women like that. You'd be surprised. Those type of men are quick to wife a woman up, especially if that woman has a place to stay. Those type of men usually come with a sad story. Either they're in between their jobs, they lost their job, their ex cheated on them and threw them out. There's always a sad story, okay? Those type of men usually are liars and love to sell a woman a dream. Oh, things are going to get better. Oh, I'm waiting on this settlement. Oh, this, that, and the other. It's always an excuse. And that things are going to get better. They're selling you a pipe dream. A homosexual comes into your life and uses and takes everything that you got. Okay? Without any remorse. They lack the ability to have empathy. It's part of their narcissistic ways. Most homosexuals lack education. And the ability to maintain a job. Or seek out a higher paying job. Those type of men always seek after their exes, especially the ex that tolerated their BS for the longest period of time. They're always quick to run the, I love you, please forgive me, I was wrong, I should have never left, I should have been better, I'll do better, etc., whatever excuse it might be. Those type of people are people that can feed your lust, okay, but could never improve your life, okay? So that's what you have to understand. The, the, the way they lure women in is their Casanova ways, their good looks, their charm. So you as a woman, you have to be able to see past that, okay? And no, don't be blinded by the, you know, his looks and know what it is. Know that it's not right and know that it's BS. But now let's go ahead and Let me just turn this around for a second, okay? And again, I want to flip this around 
because not that I don't want to take your topic, Lily, that you submitted seriously, but the fact that it's even submitted. Here's the thing, and again, just my view of things. And this is one of the reasons that makes us different men from women. A man, if he's with a woman and he likes her or even loves her to the point that he finds himself taking care of her, most men have a sense of pride that they're actually, okay, yes, I'm able to take care of my household. I'm able to put food on this table. I'm able to take care of my girl. You know what? It makes working all those hours worth it. It makes real men, or at least traditional men, feel good that, you know what? I earned this paycheck to take care of us. And what I mean by us is me and my girl. You know what? Yeah, my girl's at home. She keeps the house clean. She cooks. She greets me with kisses. You know? She's a traditional housewife or a traditional house girlfriend or whatever you want to call her. But overall, you won't see men complaining about this. Some men might. But most men are looking for that traditional woman, that woman that is going to be there when you come home from a hard day of work. So, I don't know. Hopefully, Lily, again, I covered your topic. Those of you guys that are watching, please comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Have you ever dealt with a homosexual? And if you did, what did you do about it? How did you get rid of them? Are you still with them? And, fellas, let's keep it 100. There are women that are homosexuals today and are not called out on it. And they ain't called out on it because, again, most men, don't make a big deal out of things like that, especially if she's a beautiful woman. Then it really don't matter. Just stay there looking pretty and keep the house clean and cook, and they're happy. Don't nag, you know, and, and, and sexually satisfy him when he wants it, and you have a happy man. So, again, comment below until the next one, folks. I am your host, Jay Gonzalez, and remember, let's keep it controversial. Peace out.